I think the main thing that keeps me going in life is definitely art in general, like whether it's photography or painting, music, like whatever the case may be, like I'm really into that and it kind of fuels me to think that there's more to life than just living. My main passion is in photography. Um, I've been doing photography for about five years now. I think it's just the joy of freezing time. Like daily, like you'll see something and you won't even think twice about it. And with photography, it's like, we take that picture and like a couple months later, maybe a year later, you look back at it and remember that time and what you were going through and what you were feeling. So that's kind of what fuels me to actually go out do street photography. When I'm not in the best, best of moods, I'll try to actually step out my comfort zone, just put on my headphones, go out for a walk and wander around the city somewhere and just stay to myself and just take photos and document what I see. Too far, missed the shot. Perfect right there for the shot because I like the pipe, the look that's going on. It's gonna look pretty interesting. Not too happy, not too bad. We'll just keep walking. I feel like I need to get the ball rolling first because when it comes to street photography, like, I'll take at least 20 really crappy shots that I don't really like and it'll start like getting the flow and like I'll start thinking differently about what I need to do and it'll start to make up for all the shots that I missed. When I do street photography, I actually tend to focus on other people's emotions at the time, try to focus on their facial structures and you know, the, their facial language, if that makes sense, and their body language. Then we got the ball rolling. <laughs> I actually have a series that I'm starting to work on, and it's with the, I don't know if you've ever been on the B train, you know, those seats with the back-to-back the -back seats. Like, I love being on, like, the opposite train looking at it and just seeing two different strangers and, you know, seeing their faces and what's actually going on. Like, the person on the you know, left side might be really sad and into their head, and the other person on the other side might be laughing and blah, blah, blah. And I find that beautiful, because like, as strangers, we're so close, but so different and so far at the same part, at the same time. I feel like photography has really helped me through some dark, really, really dark times. And I found through those dark times, my camera has le never left my hand. Like, it's always been the first thing I always go to, to cope with whatever I'm feeling at the time. And with editing and with, um, you know, post-process, it kind of, it, it became kind of therapeutic to work on my photos and, you know, tweak them and make them, you know, match the emotions I'm trying to convey. When I get home from a day of shooting and I load my pictures onto my computer, I tend to feel the sense of joy because I love taking pictures and it's my passion and looking at the work that I've done, it just kind of feeds, like, you know, the hunger in me to actually shoot more and to edit those pictures and create something out of them. And I love taking pictures, so like, even if it's on my phone, I take like one photo or two photos a day. Like, I just love tweaking and, you know, turning, sliding sliders up and down and just transforming the photo into something just creative. One uh, piece of advice I would have for any new creative stepping into this world is to always stay inspired and push forward, no matter what. And as a creative, we're always gonna walk into these creative blocks and we tend to look outside for uh, inspiration and motivation. And I think the truth is to actually seek from within because only you yourself could inspire you and figure out what you truly want in this life and to push out. I think my goal as a photographer is to just create memories and just capture moments that will live on in other people's lives and not just my life but you know for future generations to come to see and especially with the my company or my uh, brand role of use is to you know showcase these people that 
are, you know, aspiring and trying to build and make something of themselves and for future, you know, archives to see those people back in 2018, 2017, 2016, those people who are not who they are in like 2040, 2050s. And I feel like that's what my goal is as a photographer is to just create those memories and to, for people to look back on. Mm -hmm.